Hey y'all, it's my Kel and I am back with another video. Today, I'm gonna be doing a hair tutorial on this look. So if you wanna learn how to do it, make sure that you stick along. Shout out to my amazing girlfriend who taught me the safety pin technique, which you'll see later, but it definitely helped me out. I didn't use a crochet hook this time around because it was just a lot harder for this look. The hair that I used was Freetress Braid, um, 2X Soft Fox Locks Curly Light, 18 inches. Um, I got color 1B, and then the packs were $9.99 each. I used um, not even three packs, but I bought four just in case. This is the fourth pack. I also used As I Am Double Butter when I was moisturizing my braids before I braided them. And this was $16.99 at the beauty supply store. You can probably find it at Walmart or Target as well. But um, you don't have to use this product. I just love it so much because it really does a good job with moisturizing my hair when I'm wearing protective styles. I also used a spray bottle to spritz my hair before I put it into braids and before I moisturized it. And then I also used Murray's Edge Wax. And I only used these on sections of my hair that were super frizzy at the base. And I only put a little bit on there because I've noticed that in the past, when I did protective styles, I put way too much product and it really like clogged up my pores when I went to go wash it. So make sure that you're not putting too much product at the base of your braids. I also use clips to clip my hair into sections. And then the last and the most important tool that I used for this look was a safety pin. And this replaces the crochet hook. So if you don't have a crochet hook, then you're in luck. Because honestly, this was way easier than using a crochet hook in my opinion. And don't worry, I'll put all the links in the description for all the products I used in this video. Okay, so the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm going to wet my hair, spray it with some water. And then I'm going to put some As I Am double cream butter in there just to make sure that I lock some moisture in there. And then I'm going to start off with a braid at the top. And then some people braid all the way down, but sometimes um, people will stop halfway through the braid and then they'll just twist it. So I only twist it down when I feel like the, the amount of hair is um, little enough for me to do that because I don't want it to be very bulky when it turns into a twist. So I usually braid kind of like three fourths down and then that's when I start to twist. And so it should look about like this. Usually um, I like my stuff to be very tight to the scalp, but for this kind of look, I like for it to be a little bit looser just to give it more of a natural appearance. And so what I do is I just take a safety pin, I loop it through the crochet hook of the twist, <laughs> and then I close the safety pin. So what I do is I take the safety pin and I loop it right under my braid. Same technique you would use as a crochet hook, but for some reason, I don't know, I, I just can't get that one down. So you pull it through like this, unhook the needle or the safety pin, and then you see how this loop is right here? You're gonna widen it just a little bit, but not a lot and then pull both your braid and the lock through the loop. You're gonna pull it so that um, it's tight towards your scalp. Okay, so you're gonna make sure that, you're gonna figure out which way that the lock twists. So I see that mine kind of twists out this way, and so I'm gonna wrap it around my braid and twist it down in the direction that it goes. So. <laughs> I hope that made sense. So pretty much you're going to unravel it a little bit at the top, twist it around the base of the braid, and then just continue to wrap 
around the braid. Make sure that you're getting towards the base of the braid first so that the braid isn't showing. But you're gonna continue to twist around and unravel as you go down the braid. So as you get towards the bottom, get all of your hair inside of the lock because you don't want it to be noticeable that you have a braid under here. So just continue to twist down. And then once you get towards the end and all your hair is in, I just kind of twist it just to make sure that it's blended with the rest of the lock. And yeah. I am going to stress the emphasis of making sure you get towards the foundation and wrapping at the foundation of the braid first because you do not want your braid to be showing. All right, so we're gonna do this again. So you're gonna take the spray bottle, wet your hair a little bit, and then put some double cream on there or any type of cream. You don't have to put double cream, but that's the one that I use. When I do all of my protective styles, and then start off with a braid at the top. And then depending on how thick the amount of hair that I take out um, will depend on if I end up braiding it all the way down or if I end up twisting it down. So since this patch of hair feels thinner, then I just end up twisting it down. For thicker sections of hair, I make sure that I'm braiding it down so that it's easier for me to wrap the lock around the braid. Okay, so they're gonna take one of your locks. You're gonna put the safety pin through the loop and then you're going to close it and then place the safety pin under your hair make sure that it goes under the braid pull it through take out the safety pin and then you're going to widen this hole just a little bit not a lot and then you're gonna put both your hair and the lock through the loop. So then you're gonna push and make sure that the loop tightens closer to your scalp. And it should look like this. Okay, so since the lock unravels this way, I'm gonna wrap under. So make sure that you get around the base of the braid first so that there's no, none of the braid showing. And then just continue to wrap the lock around your braid. And honestly guys, once you get the hang of this, it's so easy but you just gotta get the hang of it first. <laughs> Cause your girl was struggling so much when I first started doing this. Okay, so you're gonna get towards the bottom and you're just gonna continue to wrap around And then when I get to where I can't really wrap it anymore, I just kind of make sure that it's blended in and I just twist around that area. 
to make sure that the end of my braid is sealed in with the lock. Then I kind of just do this motion until I feel like all of my hair is in there. And that's it, y'all. But yeah, that concludes this video. I hope this video was super helpful. I will keep you guys updated on how long this look maintains. This time I'm gonna make sure that I wrap it at night and do everything that I'm supposed to be doing to maintain the look. Because on that last video, I know that I couldn't really give a straight answer on how long the style lasted because I wasn't doing my part. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know if you have any questions. If you have any comments, leave them in the comment section. Make sure that you go and like this video if it was helpful and then subscribe to this channel if you haven't already. I will see you guys next time and I hope you guys have an amazing day.